Um, I'm going to be doing a dual song review on this video. Um, you already know what song it is. You clicked on the video. I don't need to tell you that. But um, Chunk No Captain Chunk, a band that their last album I, I praised with ridiculous fashion. I loved it. Uh, I, I over listened to this album. This is one of the very few albums that I've ever over listened to to the point where I could I had to go a couple months without listening to it. But um uh there are new songs. First of all you'll notice that there's definitely a a, a lot better production. Um the production is a lot better. I don't know how to put it. Uh it sounds a lot cleaner, it sounds a lot you know, nicer, more well put together rather than um, just a band that flew in from France and they uh, just redid their album not even sure if it would sell or anything and then you know it blows up and now they're putting money into the band's production and everything and putting money into the new album. The songs themselves, um, I'll start, I'll just go overall. I did, they just gave me a different feeling than what uh, their older songs did. Uh, such as Captain Blood, I felt that that had a lot more intensity and uh, just a little harder hitting and I, I can tell they're going for a little bit of a different sound, a little more uh, melodic type of sound now but um, that's just me I guess, I just prefer the old like Captain Blood type of hard hitting song like really pop punk, I, I don't know how to explain it, just the songs give me a different feeling but um, it, it's definitely clear they're going in a new direction um, Bert sounds, his screams and restart are, they're good, it's just, I feel like they haven't really changed much since his screams and um, something for nothing, it's just better production, everything, they sound better, uh, still the same lows again, he doesn't do like high screams or anything, um, his cleans, uh, he, he lost a little bit of his French accent that he had, which is a little disappointing, but it's still there a little bit. Um, I know a lot of people love the French accent, but I, I, I can still hear it, it's just a, you know, it's just a little better in English now, I think. Uh, Song-wise, the intro to um, Restart just bothered me. I feel, I feel like I've heard it so many times, not that exact riff, not exactly what they're doing, but I feel like just that whole formula of what how that song started, I feel like I've heard that so many times, like kind of a a bouncy, bendy, sort of, you know, off-kilter sort of riff that doesn't quite sound right, but it still works, and it goes into, like, the song, and I, I it's hard to describe, but, uh, you know, I, I can't put words on it, but I feel like I've heard that whole formula before. Um, the whole song, Restart, it's not a bad song, it just didn't impress me much. That, that's just my opinion, other people may like it, I, I still think they're a cool band, it's just, I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I was looking for something that wasn't quite there, and they went into a direction that I, I I didn't think they were gonna really go for a more melodic sound. That hmm, I don't know. But uh, the definitely the chorus from Restart really reminded me of uh, the Kesha cover that they did, where it's something really dancey and uh, happy. I mean, they they have happy choruses, but. It sounded, you know, really dancey and, you know, uh, happy and stuff, like like a lot of their other courses, but it just reminded me of the Kesha cover, We Are Who We Are. The other song, Taking Chances, it was better. I, that song, you can really tell they have a more melodic direction that they're going in, um, you know, chords rather than, uh, you know, pop punk bendy jumping type of things. Um, it, it's good. It was very melodic. I enjoyed it, but again, it's just something... I don't know. I feel like I was looking for something else. I can't quite put my finger on it. And I'm not saying it's, it's really bad. It's just something that... I, I don't know. I feel like I've lost my interest in this band. Or something like that. Something, something of the sort. But, um... I don't know, I just can't get excited about this review. It's very hard for me to get excited about this. And I, that's the thing, I can't explain why. I The songs are okay, they're not bad. Yeah, Restart sounded really um, kind of generic in a sense. 
not 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 generic, but generic in a sense. I I got the sense of gen, uh, something generic from that. Uh, but taking chances was a good song. I I like it. It sounds nice, but it's. I don't know. I can't get excited about this. I was so excited about their last album, and I I don't know. It's just for some reason I can't get too excited about it. Um, the songs were okay. That's that's all I can really say. I'm searching for something better to say. Bert still sounds pretty much the same as he did. You know, the last album has a, you know, lost a little bit of his uh, French accent. The band sounds as if, they, as if they've taken a more melodic direction, something that I've seen before hundreds of times. Bands take a more melodic direction, a different direction. And that's cool, and I, I don't know. I just feel like I've seen this before. Um, it's still cool, though. Uh, my only complaint is that, uh, yeah, I mean, they're a band. They travel the world and stuff, but they're like in their younger 20s, low 20s, and this is their second album, and they're writing songs about taking chances and exploring the world as if this were their, this was their uh, 18th album. You know, I still think they're a little naive in a way, but um, this is just all my opinion. This is what I hear. Uh, but, who knows, maybe the lyrics will go back to being more friendship type of stuff, but um, Oh, the lyrics didn't weren't that impressive to me. I feel like I've heard those lyrics before, and it really uh, bothers me to use the word scene. But I feel like this band is really in the warp tour scene now with a lot of um, other bands like uh, I don't know, Pierce the Veil and stuff like that. Just judging by the fans that I've seen, and um, I know I'm making quite a few assumptions here and saying things that people might not agree with. But this is just all my opinion and. Sadly enough, I just can't get excited for this. Maybe the album will change my mind, but uh, right now where I stand, it's just two okay songs. Nothing that really impressed me as much as their first album when I first heard Captain Blood, one of my favorite songs, or XOXO. You know that song. I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. You know, I really listen. I really like this album. I'm gonna listen to it over and over and over again until it gives me headaches. But just so far, these songs, I don't know. I feel like I've heard this direction being taken before, and I'll just have to wait until the album. That's all I can really say. But where it stands now, I'm not too impressed. But people that like, you know, melodic bands with singing, if you like A Day to Remember, you would like this. Um, but, uh, I, that's all I can really say. That's my review. I mean, definitely lacked a lot of enthusiasm and stuff, but that's all I can say about it.